This is a consumer's eye view of the Proporter SD card holder which I bought via Amazon.co.uk for around £5. I hope to show how it offers a neat and elegant solution to the challenge of storing and organising secure digital memory cards. My first impression of this product was favourable. This is quite difficult to demonstrate, but the card holder just feels right. It's lightweight, nicely proportioned and pleasing to the touch. It has a two-piece construction consisting of a tray-like pressing made from what appears to be an anodized aluminium alloy sheet and fixed inside the alloy tray is a plastic divider which has three slots to accept your SD cards and keep them clipped firmly in place. The card holder seems very nicely made, has no sharp edges and is embellished with an impressed logo decoration. It has exactly the same footprint as a credit card, but it's thicker than the one-tenth of an inch claimed in the product description. Indeed, four of them measure five-eighths of an inch. Uh, you do the math. When in their slots, each of the three memory cards are pressed up against the uninsulated back of the aluminium plate but the design of SD cards is such that their contacts are held clear from the risk of being shorted out. The whole arrangement appears to be quite robust, but in my view, as your precious SD card is left exposed on one side, the Pro Porter card holder would offer minimal protection from water or the ingress of small abrasive particles, and it's not only your sandwiches that sun can play havoc with. My real negative about this product, however, is the price. In my humble opinion, a price of nearly £5 is more like robbery than retail. If I were to guess what it might cost to manufacture, then a fair asking price for this storage solution would be more like £1 to £1.50. No doubt the laws of supply and demand will sort prices out in due course. But since I first wrote this review, there has been a further price hike in the wrong direction. Notwithstanding my gripes about them costing too much, I admit that when they cost a fiver each, I did choose to bite the bullet there and then and buy four. I don't think I would have paid almost six pounds each for a holder, and so I'm lucky not to have lost out. If you, like me, have more money than sense, but want to keep your precious sound and picture data from going walkabout in your pocket or on your desktop, then I can recommend that these Purporter SD card holders offer a reasonable solution. I like them, but it seems that this is a further example that elegance and security don't come cheap.